Once upon a time, there were two twin sisters, Zora and Yaga. It was well past curfew. My sister sneaked out of the village. I followed her, as I always did. I took my bow. make arrows myself. This time wasn't any different. All I needed was some sticks and feathers. make arrows myself. This time wasn't any different. All I needed was some sticks and feathers. And a bit of work to put them together. Zora is always up to something. Can you see it? See what? The tree. The red oak. The red oak. We've often used it for target practice. Take a good look at it. If anything bad happens, always head straight to the Red Oak. I will meet you there. Uh, Zora? Was it you? Can't stand a second without a leash around your neck? How about you finally go down your own path? I just want to survive, no matter the cost. I always tried to think about what's good for me. 
trying is all you could ever do. <laughs> What's wrong with you? You got it all wrong. Once upon a time, there was a freak with no face. Ooh, How much longer you want to be a nobody? You just follow in your sister's footsteps. How far will you go when she's not around? Zora's got a, a plan. She always has one. It's time you had a plan. You want to hide here in the woods? You can't hide from Baba, princess. I, I just need to find the red oak. The red oak. <laughs> if anything bad happens... Stop it! Then forget the goddamn oak. What you really want to find is... The hut. <gasps> what? Hi. Is it drilling into your little head? The hut. The hut! Just another bad dream. I haven't had a good night's sleep since Laura went missing. I finally know where to look for her. But first I have to get some food to get my strength back. I keep having nightmares since Bob the Witch started snatching kids from the village. Volko, Slavitsa, Dragoy. Weavers of life keep on spinning my thread. What's your problem, little one? That's my good deed for the day.
Phew. It's a big one. I hope I can take it down. village. I can't go back. Not without Zora. <laughs> Your blood won't go to waste. Shall flow through my heart forever now, because we are one. Now meat goes over the fire. I'm hungry. A bite from that spider can kill in seconds. I'd better fix myself an antidote, just in case.
could have set the bird free in the way I just did. I remember things people say about these old statues. Nah, nonsense. People have always accused me of helping Baba. Called me a... a freak. And Zora disappeared too. There's nobody left to keep the angry mob away. So, here I am. Finding my sister is my only option now. I need to get to the Red Oak. Catch the flames to roast the meat. So far, so good. Looks fine. Looking for a lost sister. <laughs> Spirit. Thank you. 
It's the hut, the one we saw three years ago, the same that haunts my every dream. <sighs> I'll just sneak a peek, look for any sign of Zora. before the master of the house. They're hissing, huh? <sighs> My mask. It's trembling. Again, but this is not a dream. Well, shit, it isn't. Surprised? Don't you remember all the times I saved your ass before? I... What do you... Better get used to it. This time I'm gonna stay for a good while, princess. I'll also help you get out of this mess you're in. Um... The roots have overgrown this place. Ugh. We'll deal with it. Oh, is this... The one who watches over the world. But look what's happened to him. And to the world. Let him feed off of what you've brought. Press 
The seal. The seal? Your mask. Those goddamn kids always get their crumbs in the yard. <laughs> See the vines? Whoa, not bad. Forest has been crawling with these lately. Bridge is broken. I can't. So you're gonna stand here forever now? I could try jumping over. No. Figure out something that makes sense. I should make myself a fishing rod one day. That's what I call a good winter. Mm. Mm. You're... You're the giant mushrooms I heard about in old folk tales. I never thought you'd turn out to be real, though. What are you... Oh! Oh, shoot. A human girl. And she's holding a bow. Should we? Wait. This mask on her face. Don't know why exactly, but it makes her look almost familiar. Not many of your kind coming here. Have you lost your way, girl? Oh, I like her bow. It's such a nice bow. Uh, can I touch it? Did she come alone? Uh, where's Keep she? Keep it down, kids. Can't you see the grown-ups are talking? I'm... I'm looking for someone. And, well, the trail goes over the broken bridge, so... See, Borvi? The bridge is broken! It must have been the fire drake that burnt it. You mean a dragon? A vile, bloodthirsty reptile? No way you've got a real one here. Of course we haven't. A dragon just happens to be the best cover-up for whoever's behind that honey hustle. Anyway... They call me Borvi Borko. Slippery Jack at your service. My name's Yaga. 
What kind of name is that? <laughs> What's that short for? Quit your jabbering. I can't hear what she's saying. Would you... Would you happen to know another way across the river? Oh, there is no other way, I'm afraid. We could rebuild the bridge for you, but... Or rather have a bunch of beavers do it for us. Yeah, we sure could do this. But we need to take care of the fire drake first. <sighs> It seems you've got a really burning issue here with the beast on your shoulders. But I really need to get across the bridge, so maybe we can help each other out? You seem like a crafty lass. Help us get rid of the beast, and we'll get the bridge fixed for you. Well, I'm not exactly a dragon slaying type. Oh, I'm sure you'll do just fine. Go find Rebel, a rather peculiar cursed type. He's a friendly face. Even if it's a bit hard to tell, <laughs> he'll tell you what's what. Dragon or not, this thing needs to be taken care of. But you should start by finding my friend, the Noble Grand Knight. And get yourself a good luck charm, such as... a horseshoe. <laughs> In any case, you should follow the dragon's roar. The roar? <laughs> Just go to the caves west from here. All right. I'll see what I can do. Off to a great adventure I am. Hello, Nazora. Wherever you are. I can't wait till you slay that dragon. All right. I'll see what I can do. <laughs> oh. A Bobok minus a mortal soul makes a Shellock. Mm hmm. And? Their souls trapped in between, awaiting their chance. We've all been there. It can save your sorry ass. You gotta learn every way to crawl out of your own grave. May your hand be just, but your she is patient. A crystal wool. Curious. One day it'll shatter. Or you will. Keep moving.
I think I know this place. I was here, like... It's been a year now. Painful memories? Good. Pain means you're not dead. Yet. Oh, crap. Are the wasps that big? Willow what? <laughs> the sinister light's leading you straight to hell. Willow what? I like it. Wish upon a shooting star. <laughs> Tremble before our might, puny mortal. Soon the rivers will flow with the blood of all who dare to oppose the eternal empire of ants. I. I beg your mercy, my Queen Empress. Enough! Show me the way to the human settlement, so I can lead my merciless army and pour my wrath upon them. Lead your armies past the lake, my queen. May your conquest be swift. Soon, all will know the true meaning of horror.
Looks like the noose didn't hold you tight enough, huh? <laughs> not tight enough and not long enough. Nothing can hold me, girl. You must be Jack's friend. He sent me to help you get rid of... The dragon? Ha! <laughs> Good old slippery Jack. Always the best in bending the truth. The dragon, as well as his famous appetite for honey, is just a fraud. The honey itself is a real beast here. It's what's making folks madder than a wet hen clouding their minds. I can see each of you has this whole thing figured out differently. How about you get your story straight if I'm to help you? Woohoo! That's the spirit! I love it! Rage on, burn through! You're exactly who I need right now. <sighs> can we stop beating around the bush then? Ha! That's what I like to hear! Listen, there's a will-o'-wisp den nearby. The critter's been holding heaps of honey in there. I'm about to build this thing, Majiggy, to turn their cave into a cave and if you catch my drift. Their nest goes boom! We get rid of the bugs, and what's more important, of the honey. We're not letting it put us in irons, turn us into mindless slaves. But first things first, we need the plans for the damn uh, thing. That's one solid plan. It seems I'm not getting across the bridge anytime soon. Relax. I got people in places. <laughs> They'll help the geezers with your bridge. If you help me. So yeah, the plans. You gotta snatch them from Nat's castle. Bovi Boko's friend? Why don't you go get the plans yourself? A cursed free bird like me? Nah, I can't stomach even a minute round them holier-than-thou grand posers. I'm allergic to their BS. All right, all right, all right, all right. Any more questions on the job, or are we ready for some honey flavor? All right, then. I guess it's time to get my hands dirty. Or sticky, for that matter. Music to my ears. Now, meet me at my place as soon as you got Anything wrong? Can't you hear it? Some vermin coming this way. Don't have too much fun. <laughs> there are too many of them. <laughs> Whoa. It does that? I used to hate this thing. Stuck on my hand. You've it's... almost figured it out. That fancy gauntlet of yours. Learn, act, repeat. One day you'll get the most out of it. I, I, I don't think I can repeat. The cauldron has all the answers. I'll try.
Finders keepers. You can brew an interesting stew out of it, Bathabot. And finally become a hero in your own story. <laughs> Now, make it special. Boost your shot with the gauntlet's energy. How the hell? Hmm. We're getting somewhere. Now, what was it the mushroom wanted? the time and work to build these in only one arrow to break it. <laughs> You're so bone appetite. <laughs> Miss, uh, moment of your time. Oh, uh, good day to you, Mr... Mr. Lava. Not a very good day to be alive, I gotta say. All underworlds are rage. Behold us. You must have gone up to get here, Mr. Lava. Oh, yes, that's so. Thank you, miss. I should get back to work. Demons aren't going to make themselves, are they?
Weavers of life, keep on spinning my thread.